Uh, right, hopefully I will try and stick to two minutes. Luckily, if you go a bit later on, then most people have actually picked up on some of the threads from your conversation. Um, we talked about participatory cities and alternative models of urban development. Um, the question that the workshop addressed was how do we make participation meaningful uh, within uh, urban development, especially reflecting uh, some of the SDGs. Um, we started with a number of provocations uh, from colleagues researching in Greater Manchester and Gothenburg. Firstly, um, a series of interviews and discussions that have taken place uh, with civic leaders, both politicians and officials, trying to understand better the views and understandings of what co-production can mean and meaningful participation um, at that level. Um, we also um, explored a project looking about spatial planning in Greater Manchester. Um, how does that feel in terms of uh, the grassroots and individual neighbourhoods and communities? What knowledge um, is shared and what knowledge um, is overlooked? Um, and we also looked at the urban girls movement in Stockholm, um, taking um, a feminist perspective on urban planning. Um, looking at the common and, and different threads, I think there's a number of things that came through clearly in terms of agreements. Um, there's clearly an appetite for new forms of citizen participation. Um, there seems to be an understanding that what's happened so far is, is good and can if, uh, improve um, civic provided services, uh, but there's clearly a need for it to go further, to actually make that broader and deeper. Um, there was an understanding that effective participation increases support and legitimacy, legitimacy for projects, uh, which also uh, increases its sustainability. Um, there was um, a common appetite to move from doing to to doing with. Um, there are a few differences as well, uh, discussions about inclusivity, what are the boundaries when it comes to communities, who is included, who is not. Um, does participation mean empowering? Um, who actually sets the questions when we uh, talk about participation? Who sets the agenda? Um, and there was also uh, looking at the issue of trust and confidence. To what extent do communities have a relationship with civic authorities or researchers or universities? And to what extent is that a, a relationship of trust? Um, in terms of takeaways, I think there was a couple of key ideas. So first of all, participation is ownership. To participate into something um, is to a certain extent take ownership of it. And that meaningful participation, participation is meaningful if it leads to demonstrable change. Uh, in terms of the last bit, critical questions for research and practice. Um, some understanding of who owns knowledge or who creates knowledge. Uh, to what extent is that participants? Um, uh, uh, how do we use some of this evidence and learning to actually impact delivery and policy? Uh, and in the future, are we looking towards civic authorities no longer just being the coordinators of delivery, but actually being equal participants uh, with the remainder of civic society? Thank you. Thank you.